Imagine you are working at a factory that produces some of the most advanced and innovative vehicles in the world. You are surrounded by robots that help you with various tasks. You trust these robots to be safe and reliable and to make your job easier and more efficient. But what if one of them suddenly turns against you and attacks you with its metal claws? What if it pins you against a surface and stabs you in the back and arm, drawing blood? What if you have to escape by falling down a chute for scrap metal? Sounds like a nightmare, right? Well, this is not a fictional scenario, but a real incident that happened to a software engineer at Tesla's factory in Austin, Texas. In this video, we will explore this shocking and disturbing news and try to answer some important questions, such as, what are the causes and consequences of this incident? How does it reflect on Tesla's work culture and safety standards? What are the implications for the future of robotics and human workers? So, if you want to know the answers of these questions, stay tuned and keep watching. The first thing we need to do is to provide more details about the incident and the engineer's injuries. What exactly happened and how did the engineer survive? According to a report by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, at Tesla's factory in Austin, Texas, where it produces Model Y and Cybertruck vehicles, as well as batteries and powertrains. The engineer was working on a software update for a robot that was part of a welding station. The robot was supposed to be in a safe mode, where it would not move or operate. However, something went wrong, and it suddenly activated and attacked the engineer. The robot pinned the engineer against a surface and stabbed its metal claws into his back and arm, drawing blood. The engineer managed to escape after another worker hit an emergency stop button, but he fell down a chute for scrap aluminum. He was then taken to a hospital where he received stitches and antibiotics. The injury report that Tesla filed with the regulators and the authorities classified the injury as minor and stated that the engineer returned to work the next day. However, some sources claim that the injury was more serious and that the engineer suffered nerve damage and post-traumatic stress disorder. This incident is not the first case of a robot-related injury or death in the workplace. In fact, there have been several incidents in the past where workers were crushed, burned, or electrocuted by robots. For example, in 2015, a worker at a Volkswagen plant in Germany was killed by a robot that grabbed him and pressed him against a metal plate. In 2016, a worker at a Fiat Chrysler plant in Michigan was killed by a robot that struck him in the head. In 2017, a worker at a Nissan plant in Japan was killed by a robot that accidentally activated and stabbed him in the chest. These incidents raise serious questions about the safety and reliability of robots and the responsibility and accountability of the companies that use them. We need to find out what caused the incident and how we can avoid or detect similar situations in the future. The robot's attack on the engineer could have been due to human error, software glitches, or robot malfunction. However, it seems that the main problem was Tesla's way of managing and producing its products, which might have compromised safety and quality. Some workers have said that Tesla values speed and output more than anything else, and that they are always stressed and pressured. They have also said that Tesla does not care about safety issues, and that they are scared to report injuries or hazards. The factory has also faced lawsuits from workers who claim that they have been discriminated, harassed, or retaliated against. These statements indicate that Tesla has a poor work culture and safety standards, and that it has put both the workers and the robots in danger. They also indicate that Tesla might have neglected to test, monitor, and maintain the robots, and that the software update that the engineer was working on might have been defective or incompatible. These statements raise serious concerns about Tesla's ethics and responsibility and the effects of its practices on the workers and the robots. The last thing we need to do is to evaluate the consequences and implications of the incident for Tesla, the engineer, and the broader field of robotics and automation. 
How did the incident affect Tesla's reputation, stock price, and legal liability? How did the engineer recover from his injuries? And did he receive any compensation or support from Tesla? The incident had a negative impact on Tesla's reputation as it drew attention to its safety problems and labor disputes. The incident also affected Tesla's stock price, which dropped by 3% on the day of the incident and by another 5% in the following week. The incident also exposed Tesla to legal liability as it may have violated OSHA's standards and regulations and as it may face lawsuits from the engineer and other workers. The engineer's recovery and compensation are unclear as Tesla has not released any official statement or update on his condition or status. Some sources claim that the engineer returned to work the next day and that Tesla offered him a bonus and a promotion. However, other sources claim that the engineer quit his job and that Tesla offered him a settlement and a non-disclosure agreement. The incident also raised several ethical, social, and economic issues, such as how can we ensure the safety and well-being of human workers in an increasingly automated workplace? How can we balance the benefits and risks of robotics and artificial intelligence? How can we regulate and oversee the development and deployment of robots in various sectors and domains? These issues are complex and controversial, and they require careful and collaborative consideration and action from various stakeholders, such as the public, the policymakers, the companies, the workers, and the researchers. In this video, we have explored the news of a Tesla engineer who was injured by a malfunctioning robot at the company's factory in Austin, Texas. We have provided more details about the incident and the engineer's injuries, analyzed the possible causes and factors that contributed to the incident, and evaluated the consequences and implications of the incident for Tesla, the engineer, and the broader field of robotics and automation. We have also raised some important questions. We hope that this video has helped you to better understand this incident and its significance and to form your own opinion on the topic. We also hope you liked this video and it inspired you to learn more about robotics and automation. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to learn more about technology and astronomy, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.